All right, there's something in my way down here. There's a little bracket. It's a bracket right there, keeping me from getting my hand around there. So, uh, you know, I think it's about to be time for a hammer. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Hammer time. Bam. Yeah. Mr. Everything's the name. Can't do change in the game. Doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches. Sliding through with something super vicious. Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name. Can't do change in the game. Doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches. Sliding through with something super vicious. Who is this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything bringing y'all another episode of Low Riders and Horsepower, you dig? Rain, sleet, hell, snow, or shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. And today, if you look at the window, it's raining again. But you know what? It ain't gonna stop nothing because I still gotta get stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. You know what I mean? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But if you have, thank you very kindly. You know? Um, I'm gonna be looking to see if I can get a, a couple of different valve cover uh, bolts to go back in there because the ones that I pulled out so far uh, was different sizes, you dig? So we can't be having that because I'm pretty sure they all supposed to be the same size, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm basically getting into today. Um, I don't know if I'll finish, but I'll probably be outside even though it's raining. Still trying to take off a couple of things to get closer to finishing this uh, this uh, valve cover gasket situation. And I, I think I am just going to go ahead and send uh, the low rider to a shop. I just got to find one in the area and call around because a lot of shops don't do um, like full service anymore. They do oil changes, you know, brakes. Uh, exhaust stuff like that but when it comes to something like you know trying to get a, a dipstick out and or repair it or something like that that's going that's that take another set of skill to get that type of uh, thing done you know what I mean so that's where I'm at with it now just uh, watch what I got you dig it's not a rainy day today but can't let it stop today thing you know what I'm saying on my way Try to at least see if I can get some screws uh, for the valve cover because I ain't gonna be doing too much with this rain. But like I always say, you, you know, you don't stop the grind, you know, so uh, you gotta keep it pushing. Oh, yeah, got exactly the kind of uh, screws that I was looking for. Uh, so I'm just gonna replace all of the ones that I take out with these <clears throat> and hopefully the uh the length is proper as well if not i'll just you know go back and get another set but uh this is one of the ones i took out and i'd rather it be a little bit longer than it be too short you know what i'm saying so hey that's the end of this part of the mission now back to the spot getting ready to get into the low rider you know what i'm saying she ain't perfect but she's perfect for me, you dig? Man, so much stuff to get up off this thing. Just to get out. Gotta get so much stuff up out the way. Just to get those valve cover off. There's only a couple of screws left, literally. But, um, I'll make sure when I put this on. Put this stuff back on. If I remember, I want to get me some regular clamps to go because I hate this style, this old style. Man. It's like no matter what you do to try to get it on, it goes further and further down. I hate it. It's what it is. I'll be back <laughs> when I get this thing off. All right, I can't forget now. I got it off, trust me. I cut it off. Dang, the god dang clamp still didn't want to come off. It did everything. It broke, it bent, it did everything. 
I was done. After I just cut the camera, I went ahead and just got a knife and cut it off. I can get another piece of hose. You know what I'm saying? There's always some hose out there. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, now there's two. There's one screw on each side. I mean, two screws on this side as well. And uh, if you look, if you can see this on the camera for him, holding all this assembly really supposed to come up out of here. But I know that some of this steel hose goes somewhere around the back of this motor. I'm not finna do all of that. Uh, I'm gonna do it like I'm used to doing it, which is, you know, making it up as you go. So I'm gonna twist this a little bit, hope for the best you did. And uh, it's only one more bolt back there that I'm gonna try to get. And uh, I'll be back. All right, there's something in my way down here, this little bracket. It's a bracket right there, keeping me from getting my hand around there. So, uh, you know, I think it's about to be time for a hammer. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Hammer time. Bam. Now we're about to go ahead and drop it on down. Uh, uh, uh. Double up. Uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? Get that thing up out the way. And that shit is settling. Yeah, I ain't gonna have no use for it no way, so I had to kind of bop it up out the way. Woo! Now, after a whole bunch of struggling and muddy fingers, time to take this thing off, you dig? I ain't recording that half because it's probably gonna get ugly, you know what I'm saying? For real. Guess it wasn't too bad so far. Starting to come up out of there. Just trying to be careful here. Alright. She's out. Getting better and better at this. A lot better than what the 305 was getting it up out of there, but <laughs> I ain't gonna tell I ain't gonna show y'all that one. You know this gasket has the same thing going on that the uh, passenger side had going on. I don't know if y'all watched it, but go back and watch when I took off the valve cover off the driver's side. And it's got this same little cut right here. And so, doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that normally because all the other sides is just right. So, I don't know if maybe they was trying to fit something on and couldn't fit it, but it's got an angle there. It don't look too good, but... So I'm literally gonna have to soak this thing real good. I'm not putting this back on here super dirty. I don't think I'm gonna repaint it or nothing. I think I just might go ahead and dip it in some nice, uh, some uh, some to get the oil up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Some nice little degreaser or something and clean it up a little bit before it goes back on. I'm not just gonna throw it back on like that. Gasket's still all on there though, even though that corner is like that gasket is still on there so I'm literally gonna have to do the same thing I do with the other side just pack an extra amount right there because it seems that everywhere else the gasket is tough but right here so that's what I'm gonna have to do to get this thing together but it's a success taking it off all right y'all it's not perfect but I do have some plastic you do want something to be in place of the valve covers uh not being there because you get a lot of dust and things like that to blow around the nine times out of ten might not do it right away but i'm still gonna plan on probably dropping the oil again because when you leave it exposed for a while you get dust and things like that so when you put a clean valve cover gasket back on it and uh the valve cover itself there will be some kind of dust and debris trying to put this back on. So I'll go ahead and probably, I might start it up. I don't know exactly when, but I know I will drop the oil soon enough again uh, just to make sure that the oil is uh, truly clean, even though I've changed the oil on it anyway. So that's it for that. Everybody that's new to the channel, just giving y'all a look at everything. Got the Challenger RT. Got the 300. Regular 3.5 in that thing. That's the daily. That's what I'm getting ready to. In Trans Am. This is the one that's about to go off soon. 
and get that motor put in there and <clears throat> getting her ready for next summer you dig just giving y'all a little look at everything that I got besides the low rider so y'all can see that check out the old videos too all right everybody well that's the end of this video right here hope y'all enjoyed it when I come back I'll be uh, showing y'all the progress as far as me degreasing it first putting the gasket back on and then uh I'm probably going to go ahead and replace all of the hoses too that connect to everything that I took off because a lot of those hoses, I replaced some of the ones on the front and uh, head of the motor, but the, the ones getting deeper off into the motor, closer to the firewall, those haven't been replaced. So, I mean, hoses and stuff are so cheap, it makes no sense to sit there and put all that old stuff back on. You put on a brand new gas, you clean off the valve cover, and then you're going to go and put a whole bunch of old you know hoses with cracks and greased up and everything so i'm gonna be doing that next time so i appreciate y'all watching y'all could be anywhere watching anything with y'all right here watching mr everything on low riding horsepower so rain sleet hell snow or shine nothing and no one stops the grind not even the haters on the sidelines i missed everything bringing y'all low riders and horsepower you dig till next time i'm out